this. Have you seen Annabelle Bowen's response through her people? Clearly, this is going to get messy and bad. Yes, let's cover it now so everyone is clued in here. It already has gotten messy for what it's worth, JT. Um, it's just a it's just a question of magnitude. How how messy can it get? How bad can it get? Uh, but this is from Mike Kliss. They, of course, the statement comes through Mike Kliss from Annabelle Bowen. Quote, Miss Wallace does not represent my client's views. This is her attorney, um, Hugh Gotts Gottschalk. Gottschalk. Quote, Miss Wallace does not represent Annabelle Bowen's views or the views of the majority of the beneficiaries. And uh, moreover, Miss Wallace has filed a lawsuit that alleges that Mr. Bolin lacked the capacity to execu uh, execute the estate planning documents and appointed the trustees, and that the trustees therefore have no authority. Wow. Although we strongly disagree with these allegations and believe the estate plan will be upheld at the trial scheduled for July 2021, any efforts to consider selling the team before the trustees' authority is confirmed is unwise. And more efforts to even consider selling the team before the trustee's authority is confirmed is unwise and impractical and would be contrary to Pat Boland's wishes to have the Boland family continue to own the Broncos if one of his children develops the ability to take over the role of controlling owner. So that's, you know, obviously when I said, what are, what are you trying to accomplish? I th honestly do believe her first mission, uh, Beth Boland Wallace and Amy was to just put more pressure on Elway and Ellis and the whole brain trust, basically, while there's this negative momentum focused on the Broncos. But why would she all of a sudden want them to sell the team when she's fighting to get ownership of right. the team herself? That's the one thing I don't, doesn't quite line up for me, but reading between the lines of what she said in her statement, it does come off that that's what she's advocating uh, in a general sense. I don't want to get hit with a defamation suit, so I'll keep my comments fairly, you know, fairly nice. I don't really trust the vibe she's kind of putting off, Chad, or the, the the tenor of the conversation and the statement that she made. I just think she's a little, how do I say it? I don't know, a little more backhanded or a little more conniving than Brittany is. I think Brittany has the Broncos' best interest in mind, and I think Beth Boland Wallace has Beth Boland Wallace's best interest in mind. So, you know, if you had to ask me my personal favorite, I think Brittany would be the safer choice. There's just something that's not sitting right about that statement to me, Chad. I agree. It just comes off as very self-serving. Yes. And if you really cared about, this is just me, you know, spitting here, but if you really cared about your father's legacy and the team and all that, why would you want to kick it while it's down? You know, why wouldn't you want to try and, you know, even if you have a, a bad word to say about everybody, why would you do it and drag your, you know, play a part in dragging your father's team, thus his legacy, yeah. through the mud? I do question that. I think that's a great observation you make, Zach. She does come off as a lot more conniving is a good word for it. I mean, this is just us <laughs> reading what she, her own statements and maneuvers in the quarter in in, in public scrutiny. 